A warm evening for us around southern Colorado. Temperatures sitting in the mid to upper 70s, 77 right now at Woodmont, Woodmore Drive and Monument. Trout Lakes Fire and Rescue Camera shows us the winds are out of the south, southeast at 4 miles per hour. And traffic flowing smoothly along Interstate 25 as people make their way between Colorado Springs and Denver this evening. By the time we finish it off, places like Monument are going to be sitting in the mid to upper 50s. We'll drop to 60 in the spring, 61 in Canyon City, 62 in Pueblo, middle 60s out in the plains, 65 for La Junta. 30s, 40s, and 50s up in the mountains. 39 will be your low tonight in Leadville. It's going to be about be the only place you're going to break out a jacket as we go through tomorrow morning. Out in the southeastern plains, Gobbler's Knob. Wind turbines off in the distance, moving pretty nicely with winds out of the northeast at about 12 miles per hour. Temperature, though, about 95 degrees. Oof, it's hot out in the southeastern plains this afternoon. Travel impacts for this evening. There will be a couple of showers and storms to deal with along Highway 24 between the Springs and Lyman. Also along Interstate 25 between the Raton Pass and Denver. Denver, Pueblo to Lamar, just have to crank up the AC as you head out along Highway 50 later on this evening. The temperatures are going to fall up pretty slowly. Skyscan satellite and radar around the state of Colorado showing us a few showers between I-70 and I-76. No real surprise. This is always one of the areas that tends to see the showers and storms when you have a nice summer afternoon like we're having this afternoon. We want a few showers also off to the west of the divide, getting ready to make their way across the divide and into areas between I-25 and the Continental Divide over the next couple of hours. But once we lose the heating of the day, as we talk about, we'll Always lose that chance for the showers and thunderstorms. It's also 95 in Pueblo, so it's not just hot in the plains, it's also hot as you get over towards Pueblo itself. 84 right now in the springs. All along the front range, temperatures are sitting in the 80s and 90s. 86 in Denver, 90 up at Fort Collins, 81 in Craig, 90 in the western slope at Grand Junction, 83 right now down by the Four Corners in Durango. Skycast, as we go through the rest of our Friday evening, calls for the showers and storms to fade away, as we talked about. And then you'll see a few clouds mixed in with some sunshine as we go through our Saturday morning. But then watch out for more showers and storms. We'll continue to track them for you as we go through our Saturday afternoon into our Saturday evening as we're going to see the same old, same old in terms of the pattern. The uh, front's getting ready to make its way through the region as well. So, nice latest storm or two could be on the strong side. According to the Storm Prediction Center, there's a marginal risk for the northeastern corner of the state, which includes portions of El Paso County and just off to the north into Douglas County, just north of Monument up towards Castle Rock and eventually towards Metro Denver. The area off to the east of Denver along I-25 up towards Fort Collins and Cheyenne. Could be a rough go tomorrow afternoon as there will be a couple of showers with hail and strong winds possible, especially as we go through, say, about 3 o'clock all the way through 7 or 8 before it begins to fade away again. Seven-day forecast. The other thing that the front will do for us is drop our temperatures. 78 on Sunday, 79 on Monday, and temperatures rebound back to the mid-80s on Thursday and Friday. Those are going to be sitting in the upper 50s and lower 60s. Pueblo, mid-90s today gives way to mid-80s on Sunday, and then temperatures back Back up to the lower 90s. James and others will go through Thursday and Friday. In Canyon City, it's near 90 tomorrow. It gives way to lower 80s on Sunday. And temperatures sitting in the lower 90s again by next Thursday and Friday. Lows again, upper 50s and lower 60s. And in Teller County, it's mid to upper 70s tomorrow. That gives way to a 70 degree high on Sunday. So overall, the weekend not looking too bad. But watch out for some thunderstorms. Keep that umbrella handy as usual up in the mountains this time of the year. Yeah. All right, perfect. Thanks, Thanks so Jack. much. Well,